Hey, okay, today I'm gonna be showing you my new uh, Dodge Challenger 2014 SXT V6. Originally came with one stripe, rattly rat line, but I changed it to two stripes, so it looks really cool. Also got uh, tinted windows on it, so you can see it's pretty dark. Car came with the 20 inch rims. I upgraded the brakes and the rotors. And I also painted the calipers, as you can see, red. But the inside of the rim is red as well. Um, so far, I've done a couple things to the car. I got a uh, cold air intake, upgraded the, the music, changed all the speakers out, stole a subwoofer. Um, this car, what I like about it too, it comes with the backup sensors, which is really, really good for me. I'm always parking in reverse. Um, also got the exhaust changed out. Turn on the car. Car came with remote start, which is pretty cool too. So I changed uh, my exhaust system, and I also did the cold air intake. So I got a K and G. So it's pretty easy to change, actually. I've seen a couple videos. All you have to do is take off this one bulb here, and pretty much take off the little bracket here, and just connect the the sensor right there, and you know take off this cover. It's not it's not crazy. If I did it myself, or anybody could do it. I also changed my my lights. Um, the blinker lights, I installed one from Amazon I got, they change yellow when you have the turn signal on, and then they go white once you just drive it normal. Let's see if you can see them here. See they just go yellow once you do that, and then I'll show you later on how to go white. Uh, you'll have to install these resistors if you get the signal lights, because now you have a hyper flash, you'll keep flashing. And eventually you'll burn out the bulb. It happened to me once. And there's a little box here for my HID kits that I also changed out. So I'll show you that in a bit. I'll turn the car on and hit the gas pad a little bit. I've been working on my series to 60. Let me show you. Right now I'm at 620. I don't know if you can see it. which is pretty good for a v6 you know can't can't really do much better than that hopefully i can but it's not a v8 you know if you want to get an rt or something better than that you know if you want it for muscles then definitely get a v8 but i got a v6 and it's awesome i'm gonna have it more for looks than anything else the control system is never going to sound the same as a V8 unfortunately this is just the way it is more power equals more money another kind of upgrade that I did was a change I got this kit here you can see what I did all red matches my seats even though this is a basic model it came with a couple upgrades I got the nice radio the touch screen it comes with the leather seats heated seats as well I got the sport package you know you could shift manual here with the pedals it's pretty awesome. It got all the controls and the steering wheel. Um, I also changed the lights, white, as you can see. Let's see what else. I'll go put the phone in the back, hit the gas pedal a little bit.
sounds pretty pretty good to be honest with you i didn't think it was going to sound that good because of course i don't have a v8 but it sounds pretty good i also changed the battery out i got a yellow top battery because with all the music system that i upgraded i had to change the battery some assault woofers i got uh this compressor here i have a train horn on the car as well which is pretty cool um i got a few amps in the car so you can see this one is for my subs and this one back here this for my interior speakers and then i also have some portable speakers that i carry in the back seat which i don't have on me right now this is the cables for those the portable and you can take them out the car and play them when you know i'm hanging out with friends stuff like that at the park uh, let me turn on the music so you guys can hear I also put uh, some under dash lights I don't know if you can see them now it's daytime next I want to put the lights on the grill and on the hood scoops see how that looks put it red too I also have a shock sensor on the lights which means that when it picks up any shock uh, it changes the, the lights change to the rhythm so it kind of goes to the music a little bit with the with the high bass I also got a bass control down here I don't know if you can see it trying to control the bass yeah so it's pretty loud this car is because with the sunroof Like I said, it's a basic model, but it comes with a lot of upgrades that the regular SXT doesn't come with. You know, it's a rather red line. So that was pretty good. And I was happy because I looked at a couple other cars and, you know, it came. It didn't have the keyless entry, which that's awesome. And you just put your hand under it and it opens right up. It got the push start button. You know, the other ones I was looking at, 2014, it didn't come like that. It didn't have the push start or keyless entry. This one came with the remote star, which is like probably like a thousand dollars if you get it done at the dealer. It comes with the nice leather seats. I got a lot of compliment on the seats. And the car sounds sounds awesome. Let me take it for for a ride and see if we can hear the exhaust. So there is some snow out. Another thing I did, I changed the shift knob, which gives it a nice, nice look as well. Um, things that I've done to the car so far I definitely noticed a difference with the cold air intake I know I read a lot of reviews and uh, people kept saying that they noticed a difference they didn't notice a difference I definitely noticed noticed a difference and supposedly it gives a little bit of horsepower and a little bit more miles per gallon which is also good as well um I think that's about it uh, I'll be doing a couple other things to the car I'll be putting up more videos but if you need to know where I got any of my parts, you know, as far as the exhaust system, the cold air intake, the under dash lights, the train horn is pretty awesome. Uh, we'll do it right now, but it's kind of daytime and a lot of cops in this area. I don't want to get a ticket. I also have a kill switch for the train horn. So if I do get stopped, 
you know, I can, I can shut the whole system off. And then the button for the trainer is under the steering wheel somewhere, so it's very hard to find, unless you know it's there, you're looking for it. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, that's about it. You know, I changed all the interior speakers, like I said. I got the nice subwoofer. I got those portable speakers, which are really, really loud. And I got the car, you know, just more for looks than anything else. I, I know I'm never going to have the same power as a V8. I don't have the Hemi engine. But like I said, if you're looking for for power, then definitely go with a RT or something something better. The problem is that you always want to want you always going to want something better. If you get the RT, you're going to want the next one up and then the next one up. So I got this one more for looks, and it, and it does have a lot of power. Like I said. I'd be beating a lot of uh, Mustangs and and Camaros on the road. I like to mess around with the V8s. <laughs> it's fun. But, yeah, like I said, if you need to know where I got any of my parts, just uh, send me a, write a comment below and I'll, I'll answer it. Any questions, just let me know. And then I'm sure I can show you better the 0 to 60 right now. You can see a better 6.20. For a V6, it's not bad at all. The, I seen other people around 6.60 around there. I did do the zero to 60 after they call their intake. Before that, I was at 6.24, I think it was, without the cold air intake. And I have it. I just installed it yesterday, so I haven't really done much runs to see if I can get it better, which hopefully I can. But. Yeah, that's about it. This is just a video showing you guys a couple things I've done to my 2014 Challenger. And if you guys done any other cool stuff, uh, send me a comment below or send me a link. So maybe I can look into it and, and do it to my car. That's what I love about the Challengers. You can do a whole bunch of different stuff to it. Put my seatbelt on. So yeah, the challenge you can do a lot of stuff too. That's why I love this car so much. You know, you can make it unique in your own way. That's one of the things that I loved about it when I was looking to purchase a car. Um, I have about a year and a half now with the car. I really don't have any complaints about it. Um, yeah, that's about it. So let me know. A problem I had when I changed my brakes, I kept ordering uh, XXT brakes for some reason. Uh, I kept getting the wrong parts or something, but then I ended up getting an RT kit, uh, brakes and rotors, and they fit right in because I kept ordering XXT, and for some reason they, they wouldn't fit until finally uh, somebody told me those look like RT brakes, and I found it weird, but I ordered RT, and the third time I got them, they, they fit. So in case anybody's having this problem with the Rally Redline, uh, try ordering RT brakes. It worked for me, so I don't know if the previous owner has swapped it out. I have no idea, but I bought the car. It had 5,000 miles. Right now, it has almost 18. Yeah, so this this kit, you know, it came with with different options to put on the doors, but me having the red interior here already, it didn't look too good because it was a different color, so I didn't do it. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. I also put a red a red uh, LED light in the trunk. I removed the trunk light that it comes with, and I put the same one I have on the dash here, which looks awesome at night because it reflects off the chrome amp that I have. So I got a lot of compliments on that as well. And then I'm in Long Island, New York. I have a guy uh, called uh, Tom Tom Stereo. He's based out of Long Island. He does all this electrical work. He installed the train horn, change all the speakers out, install all the subs, the battery, everything like that. So if you guys need to do some upgrades and you're around Long Island, he has customers that come all the way from Connecticut. They, you know, people work in his car out there on their cars and they don't like it and they travel all the way here. It's so like a two and a half hour drive, depending on which part of Connecticut you're coming from, just so he can work on their cars. You know, he has a nice, nice website does a lot of custom work so if you guys are looking for custom work any electrical work or or music stuff like that he, he does it all the train horn i definitely recommend people getting it it's awesome I, he gave me a good price on it and 
I've been using him since everything that I do to my car, I take it to him. He's pretty good, has not a lot of knowledge of everything. So if you guys do some work done and you're around New York area, Long Island, you know, people come all the way from Brooklyn, Manhattan, from the Bronx, like I said, Connecticut, to get work done from him. So definitely hit him up. If you need his phone number or his information, you can just let me know. All right, guys, have a good day. And like I said, if you guys have anything cool you've done to your challengers, just send me a link or post a video so everybody else can see it. Mm -hmm.